Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share with you my new journal collection. These are vintage linen journals and you might recognize some of these linens. They're all from various kits from Johanna Clough's Digitals in her Etsy shop. So I'll link below her Etsy in case you're interested in checking those out. So I featured a different linen on each of the covers. So here's the blue one. I'll just take you through the covers first. Here is the pink one. They are so beautiful. I love these linens so much. Here's the gold one. This one I'm calling the original one because it's the one I made first. And then all of this, all the others just kind of happened. This I'm calling the daisy one since there's already a blue one. <laughs> This one I'm calling the white one. And then this one is the purple one. Okay, so I love the stitching around the outside and my challenge for these journals was to, for the first time, not use a single page twice. So, and not to use a single coffee dyed paper either. And to try to create something beautiful and vintage and gorgeous <laughs> just using an eclectic range of papers that are still really beautiful so i'm going to show you an in-depth flip through of this one um, and then i'll do a quick little flip through of the others but basically they all have the same linen on the front and back covers so feature that again they've got a matching washi tape to go with the um, color theme on the front but all of the colors on the inside they're all mixed all mixed vintage linens throughout so I've just stuck them on here they make great labels they look like stickers um, to put a date or a title or a little quote so I put those throughout the journal I just think they're so adorable this is vintage ledger paper so the pages I've used okay um, I've used vintage pages like ledger papers music paper and pattern paper and then there's also lots of gorgeous, sweet, cute book pages. So there's Winnie the Pooh. I love these gorgeous colour illustrations. Um, oh, okay, there's also embellishments throughout. So there's journal cards and some of my tags and um, just some really fun things. So I'll get to those when I get to them. But here's a wallpaper pocket with one of my wallpaper tags. A printable one so that sticks into that pocket like that there's also um, a snuggle pot and cuddle pie gorgeous images from that book throughout the journal uh, throughout the journal series with all types of ledger papers here there's vintage fabric a flip here on this vintage music paper we've got um, also just random note papers as well all from op shops that have thrifted so this journal actually every page it's so fun because i know exactly where i got every page from all from different places and i just love the meaning behind it so we've got index card for more journaling space we've got some kind of vintage looking tickets for this journal card another one of johanna's um, printables and some i've just stuck on so it's like a label sticker others i've turned into pockets there's beatrix potter pages whoops did i skip a whole bunch of pages there <laughs> um this is actually letter writing paper, really cool, it looks so um, aged and vintage. Um, and then this is another label kind of doily, uh, Beatrix Potter page, doily here, just decorated this paper bag pocket, we've got a guest check and one of my digital postcards. And then I've used this digital linen as a pocket, so we've got another journaling spot and a paint ship more note paper love this cool paper that i thrifted as well how cool is that another gorgeous label sticker and look at this i love this um book this book is just so gorgeous um every journal has a page of this and yeah just the vintage children's illustrated book it's just beautiful more gorgeous note paper there's a vellum page this is vintage pattern paper more note paper, there's flashcards throughout with just some fun images, lots of bits and pieces in this journal. I love that doily there with the dog, love this vintage ledger paper and the bird, I love that bird page. And then they all feature in the middle a page from 
Granny Chic. So I love that book. And they all feature, this is my favourite thing in each journal. I made little notebooks. How cute is this? Out of the paper bag. And I made them with doilies, so the actual pages. Oh my gosh, these are so sweet. I love, love, love these. I want to make more of these. And then there's pockets, since it is a paper bag, I just sewed the pocket shut. And there's some more of my wallpaper tags in there, just for fun. Look at that. So, so cute. Alright, and I just love the decorative patterns. And that's what I wanted to do, kind of mix and match different patterns. This is vintage receipt paper tucked in here. Lots of things paper clipped in, lots of fun things. This is a coin envelope that I decorated with a doily or linen. Again, another pocket here, another flash card. Gorgeous pattern paper. And I like how you can see it through the vellum, that's why I put that there. Gorgeous illustrations. Get one of my art cards, they all come with a different card in that pocket there. That's one of my favourite linens. And then we've got a large uh, index card and some more just writing space. So you can have that freedom to move these about and tuck them wherever you want to put them. Isn't that just so sweet, that gorgeous image. Another little label at the top there and one here. And then this envelope, so I put this together because this is the writing paper that went with this envelope. And it's such a unique envelope because it's kind of padded and I don't know, I've never seen that before. And they all have a different vintage one of the postcard in there from my printable collection and a doily that I decorated it with on top. So just matching that up there. And on the flap I've put on all of them my stamp, Handmade with Love by writer, artist, Uni Desiree, Willowbound Journals. So you get that stamp as well, which I love. And this, they all come with a um, floral um, card. I'm not sure what you call that. I love this one because it's got a little pig there. And then going around the other side, gorgeous little images here. Another flash card, a little one this time, another journal card with writing space on the back, gorgeous illustrations. And then they all come with an extra little goodie bag with some of my own digital linens from my own um, shop, Etsy shop, so that I've thrifted and scanned myself. So they all come with a collection of those that you can add to the journal if you would like. So that is the daisy one. Let's go through. I do want to do just a very quick through, flip through of all of them just in case you're interested in these journals and a particular character speaks to you more like I would go for the Eeyore ones. Eeyore is my favourite character from Winnie the Pooh so um, and maybe I don't know there's a particular Beatrix Potter image that speaks to you um, so but you can see there's all the same types of things there's the same paint chips index cards all the same pages and layout same order all that kind of thing it's just um, yeah whatever page you get and different flashcards and different pieces like that so here is the middle page for this one I love this middle page especially this pattern here and then here's a cute little booklet with this one. Oh my gosh these are just the most cutest things ever so you get like a mini journal within the journal I just tucked it into the middle page just I don't know for fun <laughs> so it's like surprise when you when you get to the middle <laughs> but you can take that <laughs> out and <coughs> excuse me use that wherever you want you don't have to keep it in a journal if you don't want okay so just try to get through the other journals pretty quick though just so you can see all the same things so this one has the geese that one has a different linen on the front. Purple Velvet Plant. <laughs> Thought that was a pretty cool name for a plant. Purple Velvet. So cute. Ow. <laughs> There's, they all have different li linens in the back. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> cute. I thought this was so adorable. I needed to put the little deer with this journal because it's got lots of cute images in it. The vintage fabric. Some have that vintage fabric, others have the yellow fabric. Um, if you saw, how cute is this? If you saw, and how love that bird, it's not getting distracted. Um, if you saw those book covers I made, journal covers, some had some yellow fabric, and yeah, some of these journals have that vintage fabric in here instead. 
ostrich. <laughs> and look at that cute dog. That's so cute. I love this middle page. It's so beautiful. And then here's the little... <laughs> oh, I just, I think they're so adorable, these little notebooks. Love that tag. That's one of my favourite ones. So they all have different tags. But they're all wallpaper tags from one of my... Um, from my digital kit with the wallpaper tags. So, yeah, there's lots of fun things in these journals. I'm really, really happy with these ones. They were so fun to make and they just look gorgeous. Another fern, I love that. That plant is gorgeous. The, um, oh, there's Eeyore, I love this one. This is so cute. And oh, I love this doily here with the birds. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Another fern. Okay, so here you go. <laughs> Pooh bear. Oh, just so cute. All right, I'll try and go a bit quicker. There's dogs on this picture. Different doilies, different postcard images. All so pretty though with the florals. I wanted to do lots of florals in this book too, in these journals too, so. So all my favourite things, vintage and florals and linens, <laughs> a bit of fabric represented there, a bit of wallpaper represented. So the postcards are represented, just my favourite things in this journal. And I really love using a variety of book pages. All of them, yeah, that are thrifted from various um, op shops, except for Granny Chic. I got that from eBay. There's a little goodie bag. Okay, getting through them. <laughs> so this, yeah, this was the first one that I made. Love that picture there. And here is that other fabric. So that's that vintage yellow fabric with the florals. Cute little hedgehogs. So pretty. A letter home, love that page. And I love these patterns here. And there's the middle page of this one. So cute. And this page is really cool. It's got this gold gilding. Not sure if you can see that on the edge. So I think that makes it a bit more special and a bit more unique and different. Orange tree. That artwork is called. Okay, I love this story to the lady with the umbrella. So all of these um, extra things in the goodie bag, they're from various kits from my Etsy too. Um, so yeah, I'll link below my Etsy shop in case you're interested in one of these journals or in any of the linens. How cute is that? Wait, did I redo this one? Okay. <laughs> Sorry if I redid this one. I get confused. Watch. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> so adorable. Elf and Herb, I love that one. Elf. <laughs> Reminds me of Lord of the Rings. How cute, how cute. <laughs> and I love this doily too with the purple one. Purple flowers. Alright, and then we have this one. <laughs> so yeah, I also wanted to include quite a few animals in there. So that's why there's some birds and deer and the different book pages. Just a really cute journal. And I think it turned out well. I'm not repeating a single type of page um, and not using a single coffee dye paper. It's very different for me. Not including um, a single white page either. So it's all literally just the vintage pages and book pages. And I really quite like that combination. Maybe I'll do that more. And the note papers. Love the note papers too. 
squirrel. <laughs> Love the different animals represented in these journals. Maiden hair fern, that's one of my favourite types of ferns. I have a thing for ferns, so I grew up, um, the house that I grew up in, the garden was, it kind of had sections and one of my favourite sections besides the weeping willow out the front was the garden out the side and it was a fern garden. So there were tree ferns and all different types of ferns. I loved it. So I have a thing for ferns. Anyway, so here are all the journals. I hope you like them. I had so much fun making them. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a favourite one. And I'll leave a link below to Willow Band Journals, as I said. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.